to beat to get first. He didn't. He he almost beat Maloney. He beat Avo. Yep. Uh, and basically off him dropping a game, and I think somebody. Oh, Blade beat Maloney, which is, and I believe Kenta probably beat him, which led him to be first and Maloney second. They still all. got first though. Who's Johnster's dad? Is he dancing naked on Shiri? He did not beat Maloney, fam. All right. It was game three. So Lost. we have Adorable Knight and Seagull Joe. Seagull was in my bracket, so I kind of got to play him a little bit, so that was kind of rough for me. <laughs> Seagull Joe's friend is Vanity. Yes, Seagull Joe. Now, are we going to see a – I was talking to Adorable Knight. He was like, should I go Greninja or should I stay Luigi? I'm thinking the water shuriken could pressure Sonic and force him to approach so he doesn't have to camp. I feel like he should have gone Greninja. Uh, he has more experience with Boss, who uses Luigi as well. So. Yes, but it's game one. If he tries his heart out with Luigi, this is doable. See? Yep. yep. He's he doing nothing. Yep. He knows what to do in this matchup. Adorable Knight just has to play smart, bait him to approach. Just play fireball, play defensive, and let Seagull Joe come to you. Yes. Kind of like the biggest advice I told him. Oh, he needed a grab right there to get that fair string. Yep. That's One grab can turn this around to a 40% combo right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He waited a little too yeah. long. Like a miss, of missing the frame. Yep, right oh, here. there we go. Punish, baby. Oh, a home and attack yep. that early. Yep. Now Seagull Joe is forced to approach because he's down. I mean, the match just started. You're not looking at a timeout yet. Okay. Oh wow. He made it. You know, he's a Luigi. Not worried. Has like four or five jumps already. Yep. A lot of neutral play from uh, Seagull Joe. Bear, bear, very good. Oh, wow. He went knee oh deep for that. Goodness. Got caught on the Luigi Cyclone. Luigi bear him back. He fishing for them up smashes a little too early. He needs a little more. Oh, oh the back, back he here. went deep for that. Yep. My gosh. He started reading the Urban Ice uh, recovery, uh, how he recovered. So got a good back here. Seagull Joe is very good at knowing when to go in and go out with Sonic. He's just guarding and guarding appropriately. Liking that a lot. Uh, I don't know if he should have ran in with a dash attack like that, especially being down a stock. The thing about Seagull Joe is that he's really good at grabbing and actually converting good combos off it. His grab game is actually really on point, in my opinion. Okay. I would agree with that. I'm surprised he didn't, you know, the, an average Sonic probably when it went up there with the up B and tried to go for the up air. He didn't do that. He likes to fish for bears. He wanted to gimp them potentially. You see how he's, yep. every time they're under the stage, he's following them. He's, he's trying to yep. gimp them. But Luigi, you know, is really good at coming back to the stage. Okay, that's good. Uh, he needs an up smash. Yeah, he's trying to read an air dodge so he can punish him with a down B. Down. Nice. Ah, nice down smash. 89% yep. still doable. He, all he needs is two grab strings. He can bring this back. And maybe a random sure A good customized grab. Well, so grab down throw to fairs. We'll get him probably around 30 to 40. Seagull Joe is playing this match yep. so well. Oh my god. Fifth best Sonic in the world, according yep. to Zero. Definitely one of the best. Throwing fireballs right now, playing a little bit more defensive. Oh, someone. Okay. Down, down throw. Oh. Okay. Ooh, he Very good. It could have right been there. over right there. And then they on Town and City too. Bear, that's it. Yeah. Yep. Town and City, the blast zones. Short. Yep. He's gonna switch now. Seagull Joe played that match very well. Yep. He played it extremely well. Kept it safe. They did not want to get near any yes. up smashes or down smashes. So capitalized uh, on any, uh, any mistakes that Adorable Knight makes. And he needs to switch. Yeah. He needs to go Greninja. Most likely he's going to Greninja. So I mean the two week, two uh, what was it? Two week uh, old uh, Greninja beat MGNG. So that's something. Yeah, that's impressive. Um, it's not too. One sided, it's doable. He's just, you know, the Luigi game, Sonic is just, man, he's so good at being able to camp and not having to approach as much. What Seagull Joe did that was really in his favor, he did what every other top player did. We just discussed this. He waited for you to do a bad out, he waited for for a adorable knight to do bad options and punish the court. Yep, that's why I, uh, one did of the things switch? I learned. Nope, nope he's going uh, Luigi. 
The same stage, salty run back. Yeah. Oh, I got my saw, my KK cruising. Let's he go. feels comfortable with the Luigi, it seems. Especially how game one went. I think he should have switched. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it happens. Okay, fair. He took a jump off. Uh, yep. Oh, uh, he didn't get. Oh, yes. He still had his up beat. Down see how Seagull Joe's really good on point with those grabs, though? So. Yeah. Oh, wow. Didn't get the. Wow. Up Ooh. air. I think he just saved them, actually. Because I, I saw Adorable oh. and I just used the jump, so. I don't know if Seagull Joe saw that or not. Very good. Didn't get caught by that down smash at the, at the or the fair or the forward smash at the ledge. So that was good. Yep, he Go is not getting hit by those fireballs. All it takes is one. Let's go. Okay. Good jabs coming from Adorable Knight. All right. Nice bear. He's fishing for them bears. I see that's one of Seagull Joe's habits. He'll try to bear you a lot. Yep. Nice good karate bear. chop. Yep. Whoop, whoop, Another grab coming from Seagull. At the edge. Ah. Ooh, what's he got? He's trying to get him once again. Coming back on the stage with the bear. You're probably, Seagull Joe's probably going to look for a throw or another bear. But like you said, he's good at getting those grabs. He does. Really good, actually. And if he gets him to any more percent, I think maybe an up throw might be able to do it. But the Urban Knights are ca is catching up. Uh, he's going for the grab side. So he's just doing back more jabs throw. just yep. to up. It's the perfect stage for Sonic Nerf back throw. It used to be so good. One up smash would probably kill Sonic at Town and City. Low ceiling, so. Not even fully charged. Nope. Oh, okay. Nice good neutral. Nair. He's trying to go for his beer, too. Like I said, he's just on his Seagull Joe shield game is on point. That shield breaking though, he's gonna have to run around randomly and do stuff to charge it back See, up, which is what he did. Another mistake right there. Just capitalizing on any mistake the Orbital Knight's doing, and Seagull Joe is just either grabbing him or just doing a, a spin dash. Did he just stand there for a minute? What is? Oh my God, Sonic is so fast, man. Yep. Okay, fair. Ouch. Back air. Yep. Seems like Seagull Joe's getting the download on him. Yep, he got it. Home yeah. and attack, he didn't do that that much. He, he started off early with the home and attack last game, yeah. but not this one. Yeah, the fair. I mean, this is still semi-doable. Oh, ooh, that was so close. With the rage, he could have died. That platform went one back. One grab from a dormant I could also kill Sonic. Yep. They go back throw. Or maybe an up throw. I'm not sure. I'm not a Luigi player, so. He, need, he wants to fish for an up. He needs an up smash he's or a He's looking bear. for something, but he's not getting anything. Oh, ooh, that would have been clean. Uh, game. There it is, game. That's how he finished him in the last match. He bared him. Yep. This time he bared him on stage. Very good play from Seagull Joe. Not bad. Adorable night. I would have liked to see the Greninja. He knows that 